Hey, welcome back everyone, General Tony here, your host, coming back with a brand new COC episode. So I'm legit about to show you the most amazing, mind-blowing, weirdest glitch you have ever seen in your entire life. I promise you guys, you have never seen anything like this. So stay tuned to the channel, I will be showing you it in a couple of moments time. Just before I do, I have a massive announcement to make. So basically, we are approaching 750,000 subs on the channel. We have just passed 745,000 subscribers. And I also figured the update sneak peeks are going to start this week and the actual update itself could be landing maybe Friday or Saturday. So there is so much good information, guys. The update sneak peeks are due to start either Tuesday the 4th or Wednesday the 5th of October and by that time I will have 750,000 subs on the channel so I thought to myself you know what it's time to do a little celebration so pretty much the last giveaway I done was for 700,000 subs and that was a good couple of weeks ago now we haven't done a giveaway in quite a long time on the channel and this is what I'm gonna do so we are about to hit 750,000 subscribers the update is about to land as I said and I've decided to do the biggest giveaway I have ever done on this channel. I'm going to give away $1,000. That's 1,000 US dollars on the 30th of October if we can get 850,000 subs. So as I said, we are about to hit 750,000. If by the end of this month, we are on 850,000 subscribers, we will give away 1,000 US dollars in prizes, guys. Now the prizes can be absolutely anything. There are going to be a lot of winners, and all you need to do to enter is simply leave a like on this video just to show some support to the channel. Comment one prize you would love to win in that comment section, guys. Just one prize that you want to win, and then, of course, make sure you subscribe to the channel. So that is the rules, basically. Leave a like, comment one prize, and then, of course, subscribe to the channel. As I said, if we hit 850,000 subscribers by the last day of this month, I will do the giveaway live on camera for all of you to see. So it's time to get ourselves into the glitch now we've got that announcement out the way. And as I promised, this is amazing. So basically, we're going to go into my clan, go into the actual clan, and we're going to go to the bookmarks. Now, I've just bookmarked the clan, and it's actually called Flapjack Army. So massive shout out to Flapjack Army. If we make our way into the clan, let's just check out what their bio says first. So welcome to the Flapjack Army. We love the war. Please use both your attacks in war. Don't cuss, make racial remarks, or talk 18 plus. We'll see who's worthy of the Cohen Elder if you can please recruit some members in Global. So nothing tells you that the clan itself is kind of weird, but if we go all the way down to the bottom, all the way down, and this guy, he's called K-Rupt, so corrupt, he's a co-leader level 54, let's go into his account. Now I have never seen this before in my entire life, check it out, he's got a Town Hall 7 base, looks normal, there's no obstacles around the map, which means he is very active because he removes all the bushes, all the stones, all the trees, all the, uh, all the little Halloween things, everything has been removed. Now, if we zoom into the core, what is going on there? He's got an air defense, a an elixir storage on top of his clan castle. Look, and if I click on it, it says clan castle. Then it says gold storage. And can we click on the... It says mortar as well. Wow, there's a mortar, an air defense, an elixir storage, and a clan castle all in the same spot. How is that possible? And then, of course, if we go over here, you can see right next to it, there's a dark elixir storage, a gold storage, and an elixir storage all on one area. I have no idea what's going on inside of this base. This is the most amazing one, though. The Flatjack Army, officially the most glitched base I have ever seen in my entire life. Have you ever seen anything quite this weird, guys? So don't forget, if you have anything whatsoever cool to send me, if you have any glitches, anything cool whatsoever to send me, if you want it to be featured inside of a video, there is an email address in the description box down below the video, guys. Make sure you drop me an email. I'll check it out and try and respond. So let's take one last look at the Flapjack Army, just in case any of you want to check it out. It is literally called the Flapjack Army. It's a level 5 clan, and the actual member is called Corrupt. One of the weirdest bases I have ever seen in my entire life. Now, obviously, as I said, the update sneak peeks are going to start coming out, hopefully on Tuesday the 4th or Wednesday the 5th of October, according to the Supercell official on the forum, as he posted it on Friday night, saying that the, uh, the sneak peeks were going to start this week. So if we go and check our walls, you can see we have 30 level 9 walls, 243 level 10 walls, and 2 baby cute level 11 walls. Now there are rumours there will be a new wall level coming into the game. So over the next 2 days, I'm going to focus on taking those 15, sorry, those 30 level 9 walls to level 10. We're going to try and do 15 of them a day. 
meaning after two days, it will be official, we will be completely maxed out for level 9 walls, all the level 9 walls will be gone, and we will have all level 10, so the base will be looking a lot better. So right now we are about to get ourselves into some live attacks on the channel guys, this is gonna be basically uh, the rest of the episode, we'll be farming up and of course pushing up in some trophies as we approach the higher leagues. Now, I haven't honestly been able to play that much over the last couple of days, guys. I've still got a really bad cold. I don't know why it doesn't seem to be going. So hopefully, it goes by the time the, uh, the sneak peeks start, because I want to have a lot of energy to play for hours. So here we go. It's time to get ourselves into a live attack. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. The loot still sucks here inside of the 4K trophy range. Really not the greatest. So we're going to look for a decent base and see what we can find. So to be honest with you, we are currently looking for trophies, I would say Dark Elixir and Gold, not really fussed on the Elixir right now. There isn't really anything I can upgrade guys, we have upgraded all of the spells to max level, all of the troops to max level. The only two things remaining that require Elixir is the Grand Warden and of course those level, uh, level 9, level 10, level 11 walls. But to be honest with you, the Grand Warden isn't too much of a serious issue, I'm kinda happy with him staying at level 11 right now. He's not too low level, he's not high of course either. But he's doing okay, he's not doing too bad. So we're going to be attacking this base. It's worth, actually, no, no, it's only worth five trophies. That's, that's bad. So here we go, we're going to take this one on. It is worth a total of nine trophies, but it does have three and a half thousand Dark Elixir, which isn't too bad. The Town Hall 11 itself looks relatively easy to access. And hopefully we can walk away with at least a two star, maybe a three star on the base. So there go the actual, uh, those earthquake spells. Did we just fail? Yeah, we just failed. Completely failed on opening up that base. But you know what? It doesn't matter. Gonna drop in an archer there, she's gonna trigger a big bomb. I have no idea why people waste their big bombs like that. So let's just drop the archers around the outside of the base. And then of course we can access into the center. Hopefully we can do some real damage to this base. So here we go, there go the giants, there go the healers, queen, grand warden, and of course a little army of wizards. So we're gonna wait for the actual, uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna drop some bowlers over here just to make a little bit of a funnel. And then the rest of them are gonna go there. There goes the barbarian king. We're going to pop the Grand Warden's ability. There goes the first Rage Spell. And then, of course, we are going to be dropping in these Wall Breakers as well. So we're going to drop a Poison Spell just ahead. Hopefully, we haven't lost too many of those Wizards there. Here we go. Where are the actual Wall Breakers at? I can't see them. Poison Spell is going to go down. We're going to pop the King's ability. There goes the second Rage Spell. I don't know why, but for some reason, the Wall Breakers decided to go to some random part of the map. And we haven't even managed to break into the core. So the Queen finally gets herself in. She's being targeted though by two Expos. This really isn't looking great. We're only up to 49%. I was hoping for a decent two star, maybe even a three star on the base. You know, we haven't even used the actual free spell, guys. There's no point in wasting it. We're just going to hold it back. Hopefully, we can get at least a 70% overall damage. So the healer is starting to swing across to the right-hand side. Just got taken out there by something. I have no idea what that was. You know what? Let's drop the free spell now. We're going to drop a free spell on the wizard tower before it takes out all of my bowlers. We managed to take it out, but there is, of course, a second wizard tower just behind. Bowlers are going flying. The wizard tower is about to take out the last one. There he goes, the Grand Warden's taken out by the Expo, and of course the raid does end there. But we did manage to pick up 4,500 Dark Elixir in total, which isn't too bad, not too bad at all. So let's get ourselves into another live attack. So here we go, we've just landed straight on a Town Hall 11, and you know what? It's looking pretty damn good. We are going to go deep inside this base, we're going to steal the Elixir, steal the Dark Elixir, take down the Town Hall, and completely run the base over. So let's see if we can do what I just said. There go the wall breakers, there go the giants, king, queen, grand warden, bowlers, gonna go into the base, there go the healers, there go the wizards, and now it is game over. Let's see what we can do, rage spell is gonna go down, let's see if we can get the troops moving into the base, there we go, yes we can guys, there goes the actual, actually no, we still have the grand warden's ability, so this is actually looking pretty damn good, grand warden's ability is still to be used, we're gonna pop it right now, there it goes. And of course, the troops are about to go into the center. So we put the King's Ability. We're going to drop down another Rage Spell. There goes a free spell on the multi-target Inferno Tower right at the back. The bowlers, everything in the center doing some serious damage in this base. Damn, this is looking good. So unfortunately, a big bomb went off straight at the back there and took out loads of my troops. So we were actually looking for a three star in this base. So it was looking like a three star potentially. But unfortunately, that big bomb done some damage. It didn't look like it was going to come through at the end there. But there is a still potential for a great percent on the base. Let's see what we can do. We don't have a single healer left now. That's unfortunate, guys. We did need the healers to remain. 
But of course, with the healers down, it doesn't look like it is going to happen. I would expect maybe an 80% damage on this base. Let's see what happens. The queen is about to swing round. Still a couple of bowlers remaining, so you never know. The Grand Warden is still up and alive, about to take out the Expo, up to 75% so far. Let's see how far we can go. So 75% damage. The Queen is still alive, as I said. She's going to be taking out one of these uh, these gold collectors. There goes the army camp. And now she's going to swing in towards the actual Wizard Tower. So I'm starting to lose my voice a little bit here, guys. This cold, as I said, don't know why it's lasted quite a few days. You know what? Let's end it there. I don't want to stress my voice out, so we're going to end this episode here. There will be a second one in a couple of hours' time. I think I'm going to go get a, a nice drink of something. So I will see you shortly, guys. Have a great Sunday. Peace out.